themselves on the ends of their tentacles. Um, they're actually the cnidocytes, the stinging cells. Mm. So that's that's pretty cool. Yeah. Tiny little jellyfish. Yeah. Watch that sonar, sorry. I might have to lift up here right away. Yeah, I'm up. If you want to just do it and see it next to the there. starboard side, that's fine too. Oh yeah, there is a tiny little gel. I'm just going to poke the dirt with Did the arm first. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I don't know about good. that. Although that's not rock, though. That's just sediment on top. So that's Yeah, those were little yeah. chunks of rock. All right, oh, yeah. something we can go for. All right, um, get some cams up. I think they're all free. Yeah, they're all free. Yeah, we're in a, see how... I don't know if we're gonna be able to stay here. We got okay. I see coming got to Atlanta here. Got stuff moving on you. Yeah. 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 Well, if you can't skirts. do it, you can't do it. I'm gonna. Uh, we'll see what the next one is. The ship may struggle holding station, obviously. Yeah, and we're in a little tight little box here. Right. I'm gonna go for it though. I think. Yeah. Quick draw, McGraw. Yeah, so we're just dealing with some weather conditions right now. We're just holding for a bit. So we don't injure Hercules. Honor National Donut Day. Uh, let's go around and say what our favorite donut is. Just gonna try and do Can one you here. Put pencil down here. Dwight, off yeah. to the side. Is that okay? Yeah, off to the side's good. The pencil. Thank you. Um. Yeah, I'm basic. I just like a glazed donut. A regular glazed donut. It's good for me. Hey, you can't go wrong with a glaze, especially like a Krispy Kreme glaze, fresh out the oven. Right. So good. I'm not going to lie. I like Dunkin' Donuts better. Mm -hmm. That's a choice. Ah, subs moving around. <laughs> huh? Mm -hmm. oh, I got something there. Yeah. Uh, is it, yeah. Is it going to make it? Is it going to nope. make it? Umbalula? Looks like Umbalula. It's almost uh, like an hourglass. Actually, You're just watching the sand fall uh, down. You only have a certain amount of time to put can it Can I in. get the sand? Ah, I'm losing that. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah. No. Can no somebody worries. give me the sample salvo? The buttons on this patcher aren't working anymore. Yep. Gotcha. Sometimes I like a... Yeah, if you need to get out of here, just don't yeah. worry about it. Put it away. That's good. I'm gonna lift up. What's your favorite donut, Daniel? Sometimes I like a nice uh, okay. Homer Simpson donut. Or, uh, oh man, I'm blanking on it too. Oh. We'll just call it a All French right. crawler or something like that. Yep. It's like I the ones, it's a little spirally. Yeah. Crawler, yeah. Okay, not a fan of those, I'm sorry. Up, up, up. Well, I don't think we can be friends anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sarah, which one are you looking for? What's that? Which ones are you looking for? Maybe I can help oh, you. Oh, I'm just sticking. Okay. 
Uh, the gauge on back yeah, I got one, you. one if I could, thanks. All right. Let's go a little faster. Just lifting up a bit here. Things are getting a little... A little energized for our liking. Um, there's a local better. donut better. place in my oh. area. Nope, not that one. Yeah, faster. And they make these. Going up. Um, it's called Yum Yums for anyone that's familiar with Southeast Pennsylvania. <laughs> um, Sarah, do you have to switch the 20. angle a bit? Actually, let me just let them do this. Yeah, yeah. Getting on the outskirts of that. Yep. Thank you. Okay, good. It's a bit rolly here, so we're just lifting up a bit. All right. We're good. We're just okay. on a little yep. water roller coaster. But yeah, um, they have these donuts, these like filled donuts, and they're like filled with cream. They have the white lightning or the chocolate thunder. And chocolate thunder is basically just like chocolate cream filled donut with chocolate frosting and jimmies on top. Mm. Very good. Big fan. Also jelly donuts. Fantastic. Oh. I'm on side two, I think. Or, uh, it's side, gonna be side, side right. Side right. All right. Yes. Okay. All right, other one down. Atlantis, yeah. So Amber, what's your favorite type of donut? <laughs> All right, well, I have a top two. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm a vegan, so the there's this place called Mighty O Donuts, and they make an incredible uh, apple fritter. Ooh. And other top one would be a maple bar. Mm. So it looks like a ball of soma to the left. Looks like a bar of soap to me. <laughs> I don't quite see that, but I kind of see it more like a upside down <laughs> mushroom. 
sort of thing. No, but you see a whole animal through a rock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My creativity Atalanta's comes not in still waves. moving, is it? So that ship, they, they kind of did a good job holding station, didn't they? No. Well, we can probably keep moving along up slope if you guys are happy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, if you, you know, can stay ahead of Atalanta for the most part until we need to s zoom and then catch up, you know. Looks like we uh, lost the prime zone a little bit here, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's all right. I think we got a good look at Sponge City for the most part. Got a uh, sea cucumber to the left. Got another euplectelid in front of us. Can't quite see what type of euplectel it is, but I think based on the base of that one it looks like amphicella amphiticella i can type that in the chat for you loopy so there's a little depression or something here again before we get going this is all the part that it, it we thought was flat. Mm. Oh no, it's pretty. Never mind, pretty flat. Yeah, it's starting to <laughs> slope a little bit. I think the flattest part was where that sand was. Yeah, but we didn't have that little. Uh, There's some real like there were some steep outcrops there. We didn't really have those indicated. All right. Yeah, this gridding algorithm definitely like smooths over the topography of it. Mm -hmm. So Dwight, um, earlier we collected a sample that looked like a carbonate rock with a lot of ferromagnetic crust. Is that what we're seeing here? Yeah, I heard they thought it was carbonate. Um, I'm not sure. I'd be surprised because that seems really too deep. What's the range? Like the depth range? Oh, let's look over here. Uh, uh, the coral? Yes, please. Yeah. Well, car carbonate can exist at deeper, d at deep depths, uh, but it's um, on these seamounts and geos. It's not common. The, the theory is that it's only at the summit, or in the like the cap, the mm -hmm. upper upper hundred meters of the seamount. Mm -hmm. Okay. Something like that. Oh. Yeah, give him, go ahead and zoom. Probably the water chemistry and this? temperature for uh, calcium carbonate puts to precipitate out of the water. Mm. So this is an Aridogorgia. Um, I want to say Bella, given the density at the top. When was the last rock we got? Not too positive on that, but I want to say it's Bella, but we can just go with Aridogorgia for now. Thanks. Roger. Mm. Been a while. I think they only got one rock. Only one. I know, they did. The last rock they got was the one that uh, Daniel was talking about that has the crust over the carbonate that they think and then the other rock they got is just a large angular black rock. Another angular cantaloupe. Yep. Um, I'm gonna go to the grocery store after this and look uh, for angular cantaloupes. I'm gonna have like canopes. just a regular <laughs> black rock. I don't think those exist in many places. Yeah, so they have three rocks. And wood. Didn't really seem like they moved that far, did they? 
No, uh, Atalanta hasn't really moved at all. I know. <laughs> Arthur Robati. <laughs> <laughs> I got it, Here Adam. comes the joke. Yeah. I got it, Adam. You heard it. Christ, what gorgeous. Magnus for Alice. And uh, Anthemasses. Some primroids. Some dead Yeah, maybe we're getting in the coral land. Though. Yeah. Oh, I like Coral Land. Not to Masties. And there's Norella in the background. And some Astra Schema. Is that correct? Oh, and then we have a question. Apart from lack of food, are there any other contributing reasons as to why there's not much fish around? <laughs> I thought this was a question about us. <laughs> Apart from lack of food, what I can explain it? No, this is like, you know, about 15, like our delirium. Sorry, chat. This question was like 13 minutes ago. Oh, my. Okay. Uh, reason why fish aren't around. Um, honestly, there probably are fish around that are avoiding us. Right. Um, the ROV is very loud and bright, and also animals have ways of sensing things other than hearing and seeing. Um, so they know that we're here. They probably don't want to be near us. Um, but overall, there is less, um, less, I don't want to say less life in the deep sea, but their animals are fewer and farther between than in shallower waters um, right. because things move very slowly yep. in the deep sea. I'm not getting anywhere. Uh, I think I'm yeah, I know. Cold. Biological there processes are really slow and so the things that do live down here are old and slow growing and don't like have a ton of offspring. We're moving forward but we keep getting pushed back so it's like corkscrew which doesn't make a lot of sense you might want to try no I mean this should be a good heading and the wind has dropped greetings to New Zealand it's about 1130 our time we are currently at a 1734 meters don't forget, this region has been nominated to become a national marine sanctuary. Tomorrow is the last um, day, it's the due date, to submit questions and comments. Find out more information on nautiluslive.org or noaa.gov. Yeah, Thanks for tuning in. Sorry. Mm -hmm. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead. Uh, there is a page on the NOAA website dedicated to um, nominated marine sanctuaries, um, such as this one, the Pacific Remote Islands National Marine Sanctuary. Oh, okay. Um, this would add to be continued. Um, this would add protections. There is a uh, a marine national monument around these islands already. So this wouldn't replace it, um, but it would add additional protections and the sanctuary would also extend through the US EEZ. Um, and marine sanctuaries are grassroots, bottom up hey, uh, processes. Can we zoom on that coral down there and a request from the beach? That one looks like that other one we looked right. at. Yeah, it does. It looks like a oh, bar Maybe he stool. meant the bigger one. Oh. Sparse branched coral. That's what we're looking for. 
We're brain. looking for a sparse yeah, branched coral. Oh, it is. On the right? Uh, he was pointing at this one that oh, looks like a... Oh, never mind. Uh oh. So which, which sparse branch? Science, can you circle again? Oh, this. Yeah. Zoom in. Is there a potential interest in sampling or just zooming in? Uh, um, just zoom. Too I think this is. Mm. I right. think it's a bamboo. I don't know. I don't see any. Uh... Oh, is that? Uh... Can you? Oops. Is it possible to get? Oh yeah, there yeah. we go. Nice. Um, internodal branching bamboo. No it. Thank you. Kertoisidne. Yeah, we're getting blown back again. <laughs> I saw the chat. <laughs> <laughs> There's another one of those demo. Yeah, I am not sure what that is. I'm going to need some help on that one. That's a really cool sponge up there. Which one are we looking at? What are we looking at? The tall one. Could it be Bolasoma? I think it is, yeah. Zoom in, Dave. It looks healthy, but it's kind of orangey, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, they can be that color. Wow. Oh, right up in that thing. Cool. Very pretty. Good shot. that on the edge. Is it possible, can we center this in the still cam? That's really amazing. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> right in there. Nice. Ah. 
Okay, I think we're good. Got Thank it. you. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really cool shot. That's a good one. The thing on the edge, Connor, thinks is a benthic tinafore. A benthic tinafore. A little tinafore. wavy, wavy fellow. Wavy. <laughs> So bad at that. Is fellow <laughs> gendered? Uh, yeah, I think so. The other day, someone was talking about non-gendered, gendered terms, which like I don't. Dude. I don't really understand. Fellow is gender neutral. It is. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Well, then I can use that. Okay. Fellow is gender neutral. This is good. So science, uh, we're holding here. Uh, the bridge called down. Um, the current's picked up significantly. We're almost at three knots of current, which is uh, oh, wow. at the at the limit for our okay. our system. Um, winds up to over 20 consistently, sometimes gusting up to 23. Um, so having trouble holding position. Um, trying to see right now if we can regain control, but we might be uh, calling this one early, unfortunately. Okay. Well, now would be a great time to tell you about the rock that I need. Oh. <laughs> oh <my laughs> that would not be a good time. <laughs> well. Uh, we're no, just trying to hold I, position at all right I, now. I don't need a so rock. It's we got one. Not a good time. <laughs> we got one from the top. And we might be getting blown right now. Oh yeah, the wind has picked up. Good. We could just bail if it starts to. Right? Up to you. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Okay. Adam, do you actually want to rock? No, I don't want to rock. Oh. <laughs> All right. Any other zooms we want here while we're that waiting? Is the, the lesser known D. Snyder hit. I don't want to rock. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Honestly, that's how I interpreted that. <laughs> I'm really tired. Oh, perfect. Just who I was going to call down for. Um, if you want more gender neutral alternatives to common phrases, there is non-binary wiki. Um, so check that out if you're curious. We're all working to stop saying things like little guy. Good to know that we can use fellow. There's a nice piece of gold. Wow. wow, what a, that, that is, is a beautiful. Popular, That's so cool. Popular uh, sponge. It's a there. popular hangout spot. <laughs> and those are some. Look at them, they're just chilling. Oh, that is beautiful. Yeah, what? Why are they so large? Oh. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, they're only 1,700 meters, too. So. 11. 11,000 has been our highest. 11,700. How long ago was that? Uh, that was last hour. Check. Okay. Yep. Yeah.
Oh, these are cool. If you're just tuning in, check out NautilusLive.org for our amazing highlights. Um, our team just posted a highlight for a narco medusa. This jellyfish has not been spotted um, from eight years ago. We just had our fourth sighting, so that's pretty exciting. Yeah. <laughs> so check out NautilusLive.org um, for more highlights. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for sticking with us. Okay, science, we're going to uh, try a ship move. Um, see if we're able to hold. Okay. Okay. Zero four zero. Paolo, can I borrow your pencil? Why? <laughs> <laughs> For art. <laughs> There's a big poly, poly, what is it? Polyoptagon? Polyoptagon, yeah. Okay. Whoa, it looks like an amphitheater. Yeah. Or like a bonnet. All right. That's so cool. can't really get it around because there's too many things in the way here. Yeah. You know what's interesting? It looks like the, all the hairs collect sediment within them. It does look like that. That tiny squat lobster. So we're looking at all sponges? Yep. Wow. No coral. Some chrysogorgids uh, and some primnoids mixed oh, in okay. there, but mostly sponges. Right. Yeah, the chrysogorgids are those lighter pink ones, and that's Norella. Um, to the left of the polyapagon, or in front of it, I guess.
they doing it? Uh, not really. We're not getting blown off, we're just not really going anywhere. Star. <laughs> going sideways. Yeah. <laughs> New feature. <laughs> When's our next dive scheduled? Yes. Wait, did you ask when <laughs> or did you say is it scheduled? When? Uh, probably be uh, 4 o'clock tomorrow. Afternoon. Okay, p.m. My question is, yeah. can I sleep in? Yes. Okay. I will see you all at lunch. Is <laughs> mapping planned? Mapping is planned. Map yeah. Mapping or napping? Napping. <laughs> no thing. napping for the mapping team. <laughs> no napping for the mapping. Science. I'm napping while they're Naps. mapping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not we're not moving forward. Mm. If we just want to move laterally, <laughs> that may be an option. Doesn't really make any <laughs> sense, but uh, Dwight's up on the bridge now, though, so we'll get a, hopefully a decision's made soon. Can we zoom on that, Coral? That's a uh, sponge. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Test. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Is that a double-stocked sponge right behind it? Uh, That's interesting. Is it? Yeah. Oh. oh. Look at that. What the? It's like a four-leaf clover, I think, for the deep sea. It's like little mushrooms. Uh. So the larger one is Tretopleura. The smaller ones behind it are Rosselid, Calophagus. Uh, Connor says there can be branched Calophagus. It's, like it's ruffled. Candy branched. Cool. It's so, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Can't, can be branched. I heard. Anyway, Let's go to sleep. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's neat. In terms of spots to kind of like hang out and check things out, this is a good one. It's a pretty good one. It's probably better to stay down and uh, I don't know. Norella. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa. Big one. Polyopicon. <laughs> I mean, we've been hanging around this spot for a while, so it's a good spot to be stuck hanging around. So. Yeah, there's plenty of sponges to see. My sponge ID has improved greatly on mm -hmm. this watch. Let's go. I noticed that. You're like, 
banging them out now. <laughs> bam, bam. <laughs> Up in the sponge game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Look at that thing. Yeah, look at the inside of that one. That is beautiful. Whoa. That's neat. Huh. Nice shots. That is. Ooh. Wow. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah, get that. Great still cam, too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, Ooh, oh that is, is that nice. Why are there two ophiroids right on top of each other? Oh. When two ophiroids love each other. Yeah, no, you're right. There's two. Yeah. I think it's just on top it of it. Full zoomed in. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Yep, that's all the way in. Crazy focus, too. It's a great focus. That's really. Yeah, right. Do we want to get closer? Um, sure. Sure. Why not? Oh, it's a polyopagon. Mm -hmm. Ooh. There are multiple ophiroids on top of each other. Right. Huh. And they look, the ones on top are little. Yeah. Hmm. What's going on? <laughs> are we intruding? I think we That's know what's going on. Oh my gosh, they're all on top of each other. What? Something's happening here. <laughs> what the heck? Except that one. Except that one. <laughs> Except that one. <laughs> Wingman. <laughs> wow, look at the detail on that. That is crazy. That's so interesting. <laughs> yeah, where is the rest of your watch? Jules. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, that's what's happening there. Yeah, that's what's happening. Yeah, chat. chat. Yeah, three of them. Yeah, you're right. There's and then there's one loner. I don't get it. What's we have a we have a diagram of what is happening. Gotta go. We'll never know. Hello, chat, we are now on watch change. You guys have been amazing. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for sticking with us. And don't forget to submit your questions and comments. Um, tomorrow is the last day where public comments are accepted. So go to nautiluslive.org or noaa.gov for more information. 
Also, our amazing team uploaded um, the highlights from our previous dives. Um, we will be posting more highlights um, in the days or in the week to come, so stay tuned. Eight to 12, signing out. Hey. Good morning, everyone. This is the 12 to 4 watch. And I'm your semi-host, Sarah, the scientist. <laughs> Coming I'm to you your host live. on his SPL watch, Daniel. Oh. And am I a host? I, I guess we're all, what, like, Co, co -ho I think, okay, I'm a co-host. What's co? What's like the, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's like an eight-person host team? I don't know. But I am <laughs> Loopy. I am the data logger. We are coming to you live um, in the middle of the <laughs> Pacific Ocean. Woo! Woo! Um, Hawaii. Near, yeah, right? Kind of near Hawaii, yeah. but not. Yeah, somewhere like that. Yeah, somewhere around there. We're somewhere around Kings and Reef, somewhere around Palmyra Atoll. Yep. Outside of the oh, National tip. Marine Monument. But, but still within the EUZ of the US. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, our shift change is underway. We're just talking some logistical stuff as we prepare to recover in. Two and a half ish hours. We hope you've been enjoying Sponge City. <laughs> Woo. I don't know why I have so much energy. <laughs> I'm just kind of, it's just kind of what the night does to me, like working at night, just 
I feel different. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm drinking a beautiful cup of tea, <laughs> chai, today. It's one of my um, my specially selected tea bags from home. I somehow only thought bringing seven would be adequate. It's not, <laughs> but I'm enjoying it extra tonight. Is this a special kind of tea that reminds you of home? Um, yeah, it's like an Earl Grey brand. Brand. It's from Sedaf brand. It's so good. It smells so good. I love it. Yeah. We yeah, had to visit home, your home one day and try it. Sounds good. I'm a big tea fan. Heck yeah. More so than coffee, honestly. Coffee? Yeah. Not the biggest coffee person. Then we now and again I'll drink it. But I'd like tea more. Yeah. What about you, Lupe? What do you like more, tea or coffee? Um, I don't drink coffee like that. Uh, but I love a good frappuccino from McDonald's. Um, <laughs> that's probably like the most coffee I would drink is like a frappuccino. Um, or I've had more so iced coffee, which yeah, um, it's got to be like caramel or like vanilla bean. It's always a good and reliable one. <laughs> Dwight, whenever you get a chance, would you like to make an introduction? And when you do, uh, tell us what you like better, coffee or tea? <laughs> Sorry, were you talking to me? I'm listening to the nav uh, mm -hmm. for the moment. Yeah, whenever yeah. you get a chance, Let's, yeah. make your introduction. All right. So they, they did, uh, the captain told me earlier that they can put the main engine on. Like if we get into a real situation where we're struggling, we can uh, boost our forward progress with the mains, but um, hopefully we won't have to do that. What was the last? Roger. Mo movement you just called, Cheyenne? Uh, we're just going ahead 30 meters. Okay. What's that bearing? Uh, that should be 57, 60, 60 Roger. degrees. All right, so yeah, we just completed this. Um, we, uh, we were up on top of this knoll or whatever they were calling it, the uh, local high point. And now we have to go downhill a little bit to this little saddle and then it should be all uphill from there. Awesome. Convenient. So yeah, I'd say just take it away, Sarah. <laughs> Me? Oh gosh, all right. I mean, yeah, we're in Switzerland. Whatever you want to look at. Um, take it away, Penny. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what they kind of weren't looking at i don't know um do we want to finish introductions first maybe oh <laughs> well, <laughs> sure. whoa what, what? Mm, oh what what's that what is this oh i didn't touch anything some dramatic effect that was weird. uh interesting pending uh, somebody like pending. Uh, okay let me uh <laughs> try disconnecting my controller here 
I don't think it's from me, but it's like the dots from Pac Man. Look like Groot wants to help us out. Connect the dots as a kid. That's funny. It went on the other camera too. Car rides playing that. Well, my controller is off, so I don't think it's coming from my end. Huh. Well. Um, here, let me see if I can get a hold of Dave. It's like, um, uh, did the exposure change with that too? Uh, well, I had just uh, unplugged everything over here and replugged, and in that time it yeah, I can. Okay, separate issues. Yeah. Well, there's some fun forays in the back. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. let's wait until we figure this out. Um, does anyone want to introduce themselves in the meantime, perhaps? I'll go. I am Sarah with an S. Or with an S. What a great start. <laughs> Sarah with an H. Surgeon. And I am the Atlanta pilot tonight. I am Michael. I am the Hercules pilot for tonight. Um, I'm Cheyenne. I'm the navigator. You want to go, Loopy? She already went. Oh. Um, I think it's just you. Uh, and oh, I'm yeah. Dwight Coleman. I'm the watch leader. Ooh, look at that sponge oh, in wild. the middle. 12 wow. to 4 Vomiting watch. Sponge. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Go ahead and zoom. That's Forgive me cool. for saying, but that looks like a toilet bowl. <laughs> looks like an amphitheater or like a bonnet to me. A bonnet. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Um, it's a perfect home for something. Yeah. Um, These are a specific type of sponge, which so off the top of my head I don't remember. Cool. Um, it's it's funny because when you take a picture of it on C log, it shows the dots in the picture. Really? Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you sabotaged <Poor> Dave. <laughs> All right. I think we're good here. Let me look for a Okay, full wide ID while jumpy. we uh jumpy. Look around. Oh, I'm really rocking. Mm. Uh, spiked above 12, just FYI. Can you get the her just pull the thing back full wide? Oh, yes. On the box there. All the way? All the way and in, in a little bit. All the way in. Oh yeah, perfect. There we go. Okay. I'm going to do mine a little bit too. Oh, not too much. Oh, that is sensitive. There. You can bring it on there. But yeah, we're really in Sponge right. City on this dive. I'm just gonna kind of keep an eye on the tension as we go. Someone suggested that sponge that we saw looked like a Jumpy. polio pogon. Polyopagon. Polyopagon. Yeah. Um. Let's find out. Oh, yeah, there's a whole thing I'm not looking at. Oh, where am I? Interesting. Um, I'm not inclined to say that that's... Hey, Michael, can you, is it possible to turn the camera on and off? Yep. Okay. Off. Hey, Sarah. And off. Yes. Um, I I did that sponge earlier. It's yeah, not sorry. a polyopagon. It's <laughs> um, it starts with a T. Oh, 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 oh. It starts with a T. Tretto stylus or something. Uh, do you remember family? Oh, wait, no. Uh. Can you see the... <laughs> sorry, that's not very helpful. Fiber oh, health. that's all right. Yep. I think it's, it might be a demo sponge. Oh, okay. There we go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking. Thanks for the help. Whoa, whoa. Big ones. 
I'm at 19, and my tether, that tether just looked like it was yeah, it's just above a big, me. So great big we heat. have oh. yeah. one, two, three, four, five, ah. six, seven, eight samples. Um, we got a large rock. Um, I have the name. It's Tretoplura. Yeah. We got wood. Can, really watch the can you type that in the chat? Wood. by any chance we're really? gonna keep it tight? Yeah, I can. Yeah. Thank you. No push cores and no niskins. Unless you're really far from me. Yep. Oh, gonna yeah, go the sorry. Other way. sorry. My sponge ID is not not there. I need to do some more absorbing. I need to be like a sponge. And yeah. Be absorbent. Do you want to keep the See? Is the What's ship that? still on the move? I, got one I in can't there. really help you there, Sarah. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Oh, like I think the sponge I absorb information. Jules, I think we might have been looking at fiber the at a different sure sponge. Help up. That actually does look like a polyopagon. Um, which is totally fine. No. Yeah. No, it's okay. Sure. Yeah, so okay. Loopy, for reference, that big one was a polyopagon. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure there was Tretoflora in the background that I just didn't see. Can I zoom out? Thanks. Man, this is Just like a little bit thick. This is wild Just to look nervous. at. I want to watch the tether for a bit. So Amber, what do you prefer, coffee or tea? <laughs> Cheyenne, uh, Cheyenne, ask I'm a about Seattle putting girl. the main, putting the the main engines on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Black, please. <laughs> no oh cream, man. no sugar? Negative. Oh. <laughs> I like it straight up. Yep, Americana. Yep, I'm more of a tea person myself. I just, coffee's so bitter. Depends on what one you make, you know? Yeah, I, I guess it depends, right? Yeah. Nope. I really only like dark roast. Uh, can we maybe get a zoom on that one? Sure. Go ahead, video. Yeah. This is a Ferrayid. They're always really cool to look at. Because they kind of look like, um, like a ribcage. And this one in particular is giving... No, um, not I guess one. quick update for science people. Yep. yep we're the weather's super bad right now, so we're no. probably gonna be sitting here for a little while while we try to figure out what to do about <laughs> the ship. So All right. you know, just Atlanta is pretty close to Hercules, so All just right. have fun looking at yeah. everything. At least there's a lot of stuff to look at right here. Alright, let's start getting those species <laughs> IDs out. Let's go. <laughs> kidding um <laughs> but it's pretty yeah we're in a kind of oh and there's a chrysogorgia right behind it um we're in kind of a really diverse area for sponges it looks like um oh yeah and there is a yellow coral can you maybe pan to the left a little bit sure Ooh. okay so this looks like a plexorid plexorid <coughs> um Yeah, we haven't seen this type of coral yet, I believe. Tunicate, oh my god, this is a great shot. Um, tunicate in the background as well. Um, mushroom coral, of course, in the back too. And a bamboo, a branched bamboo. Um, but from what I can tell, this dive has really been all sponges. So really cool, neat little rock right here. 
Um, and that stocked sponge. Let's see. Um, can't quite see it now, but. Are these demo sponges or glass sponges? These, so these are all glass sponges. Um, yeah. Oh, too many tabs. Um, all glass sponges here. You put tillage or something different? Um, yeah, so that, that kind of rib looking one was a foread. Mm -hmm. um, that kind of, um, the one with a bunch of osculums. Yeah, that, that's definitely a tunicate, um, kind of in the center next to the mushroom coral that's on a stalk. Definitely a tunicate. I want to say <coughs> I've seen that type of kind of multi-osculum sponge somewhere. I can never remember oh. where it is. Um, oh yeah, that's just a period. Yep. Okay. All right, we can zoom out. I think we got a good enough feature of this. And now if we want to just, I guess, look elsewhere. Um, I guess over here more. Okay. Oh, right, Ferrea. Yes, that is what that multi-osculum one is. Thank you. People in the chat. Do you want to zoom in there? Um. Yeah. Why not? Let's see what dead things are on this. If we're, if we're just chilling here for the moment. Go ahead and zoom. Another small forayed. Um. Another. Ooh, that tunicate. Can we get any closer to look at that? Uh, yep. Er, ooh. That is cool. So this stocked thing has protrusions on it. Um. Oh, hold on a minute. Oh. And we're moving. Okay, go ahead and zoom in. That's fun. Let's see. So, I'm inclined to, oh, that looks like actually a hydrozoan or something because those look like tentacles or something. So you don't think, oh, the, really? Yeah, that's not a tunicate. Um, okay. That's interesting. Um, yeah, maybe a sponge. And the thing next to it is also likely a sponge. Or no, those are polyps. Coral. Yep. When we uh, pull out, we'll also see that there's like a snail type thing off oh, to yeah? the left. All right, let's look at that. Yeah. yeah. It's on. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, yeah. There he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, you're all right. Like Got a little mollusk, a little gastropod on this dead sponge to the left. Uh, orange shell. Yeah, and a plaque of foreign. Or 
Yep. So that little guy is just hanging on, chilling on this dead sponge for extra um, height off the sea floor. Oh, this is a great still cam shot. <laughs> I guess that's the nice thing about staying put. <laughs> wow, beautiful. You can get good, yeah. Huh, okay. Um, I think we're good here. Well? Yeah, not sure where you can move, Michael, but, uh, you know, go to tether length on one side and tether length on the other That's side. Okay. Sure, yeah, yeah. Another Walteria sponge, that Lots big sponges, hairy yeah. one. Wow. Oh Look my at gosh. That in the back. Yeah. Um, can we look at this coral in the center? Mm hmm. Hemicorellian? Yeah. Or Paragorgia. It's really hard to tell. Probably just take the time to try and sit down for all of them, and you can get, we got right. time, and you yeah. can get the yeah. still shots. Yeah, yeah, let's get those Vogue shots in. And this, um, there's also a sponge with a lot on it, so that would be cool to photograph right next to it, yeah. Ooh, it's so the main engines are ready. Okay. Wow, that was quick. Yeah, that... That was really quick. Um, so do we want to start trying to go forward? Go ahead and zoom. Yeah, that would be great uh, when the pilots are ready. Uh, yeah, you can call it, and we can still get this zoom. It'll take a minute before they start going or, anywhere. OK. Um, so to me, that looks like Paragorgia. I always get it wrong, it seems, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, I, it's It seems like a little duller uh, yeah. pink mm -hmm. color than the it's Karagoja, but I don't know what I'm talking about. Let me check really fast. Fine, is the, is um, oh, Hemicorallium. Okay. Are the stills on auto? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the interval doesn't quite work anymore for some reason, but... Um, oh. Okay, so yeah, Hemicorallium, and I think it's because the... Yeah, it's more rigid. It's not really moving. Ah, uh, right. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, if we're... And also that um, pretty sponge, if we look at it to the left, that big one, maybe? That might be Paragorgia there. Oh, yeah, actually. I think we have Paragorgia and Hemicorallium in the shot. That's a good find. Yeah. Pan over to the right. Ooh. Whoop. Just uh, come full wide for a minute. Or oh, right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were, like, good enough to be in the same frame. Yeah, yeah th actually, that's a really great way of seeing the difference between yeah, the ahead, two. Go ahead, zoom in. Slightly yeah. deeper pink color. A little more... Yeah, so... A little more bubble gummy. Yeah, the, so, right, the polyps look to be a bit bigger, which is also usually something I look for. Yeah. Good, good find, good catch. Okay, I think we're good there. Can we take a really quick look at that sponge to the left? <coughs> oh, and that coral, I'm just realizing. That's okay. This one? Yeah. Uh, full, or zoom in, sorry. So this is the tetraplora that uh, Jules was mentioning earlier. Really pretty structure. Kind of hard to see Look from this the angle, like but tornado. Yeah. Sediment. <laughs> but all the brittle stars on the ends. Yeah. Does anyone see the sand NATO in the? 
our oh my gosh side. <laughs> yes Cam. Uh -huh. wow oops all right i think we're good here thank you our sediment yep. nato oops see that big uh fallen sponge in the back yeah the fallen yeah sponge. that walteria is probably recently deceased <laughs> recently fallen over okay so the main engines are up and forward is working so we can start yeah sounds good yeah yep. um when we get to the so I think they'll use the, they're not really engaging the mains to go faster. They're just bucking the current mm -hmm. and the wind with the mains. The jet pump will still move us. Okay. Is what I understand. Oh yeah, so um, I was watching the stream earlier and I did see that they saw more of those really rare hydrozoans. Um, that thing that we thought was a jelly with those three tentacle claw things. It's actually a hydrozoan, they saw more of them. So that's really neat. Um, really unexpected, but hey, I mean, if they're common in this area, that's really awesome. Really good to know, it's considering they were so elusive before. Um, yeah. Seeing a big sea whip, maybe. Actually, I don't know if that's polyps. Can we look? Can we take a look at that? Sure. I know that there's been some a lot of dead things. And Jules says that they've been seeing mostly primnoids, actually, which is okay. That's neat. And this is actually dead. Go ahead and zoom in. <laughs> um. Likely a dead sponge stalk. Yeah. With zoanthid colonization, I think. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. It might not be dead. I don't know. No, that's dead. <laughs> yeah. How can you tell? Yeah, usually there's something on the top, or, yeah. you know, you would very clearly see that, like, it would look very glass like. Yeah. Or the hydroids. The color is definitely off. Hydroids colonizing it. Sorry, I always get them mixed up. Looks more like a, a used dirty sponge now. Yeah. Crinoid in the back. Pretty it's a red one. Pretty, yeah, pretty Daniel, red color. Um, a lot of sponges Lila here. Lila said mm -hmm. that we did so good last watch not speaking about SpongeBob that yeah. we can talk about all the SpongeBob we want this watch. Uh, <laughs> who said so? that? <laughs> she only said, said so. that because she's not here right now. That's yeah, that's, right. yeah, that's exactly what she said. She said, y'all can talk about all this one you want. Dwight's going to be the um, only I thought it was brought up in the beginning. So they was like, oh, okay, so it can't count for this watch. Does she have something against <laughs> officially what She's never watched she never watched it. She was I think, so think so SpongeBob has just been she doesn't get mentioned the references a bit too much. Say. So for people that have never watched SpongeBob, it's just not <laughs> clicking. Yeah. But for many in the chat, they're now curious to watch SpongeBob. I mean, I've watched so. it. I've watched it. <laughs> <laughs> it's been on for like 20 years, 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> 30, 30 years. years. You know Please, they still, 20s, that's crazy. 20, you know they still <laughs> make like new <laughs> episodes to this years. day? My kids are in their 20s and they watched it when they were little, so. I was going to say, please yeah. don't <laughs> age me 30 years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh my gosh. It's like The Simpsons. It's been on TV forever. This is like a graveyard. Um, Chrysogorgia. Who's your favorite SpongeBob character? <laughs> oh, <we> God. Go. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be Squidward. Uh, Walteria. Squidward's Sponge. pretty hilarious. <laughs> Patrick. I like Sandy. Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Gary. Gary! <laughs> yep. Gary. The <laughs> snail, yeah. Meow. <laughs> 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 Does everybody remember the Gary Come Home episode? Yes. And that song, it was so sad. <laughs> it was. I was literally sick. I'm going to start crying. <laughs> uh, That's how bad it is. Like, we, like, me and Daniel know, like, each episode coral. word from word. Another Christogorgia. <laughs> like, oh, my gosh. Look at 
at that big coral in the background. Can we go look at that? Whoa. That thing's What if he just ginormous. said no? Whoa, big <laughs> things over here. Wow, they're huge. There's oh so much gosh. marine snow here, so awesome. Yeah, let's nutrients. try to get a still of that. Oh, be nice. wow, yes. Da -da 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 -da. I should get a highlight. I've been calling this highlight Sponge City. I mean, it is Sponge yeah. City. Not Truly. Shell City. Um, <laughs> wow. Really cool stuff here. Yeah. I don't know why. I look at these um, sponges and I just think of like, like they could be in like an art museum as like a sculpture. Yeah, so I think modern art. Yeah. This one that we're looking at, I think is a... It's a heart-shaped thing. Scre uh, Screptulo forid. Um, oh wow, that is ginormous. How so big? For anyone who's unaware, there are two green dots, or 10 centimeters. So this thing is probably a good um, 60 to 70 centimeters tall, which is huge. Um, yeah. Let's take a look at this coral. If we can and get a we'll be able to type that in the chat for you. <coughs> yep. Thank you. Um, we have some bamboo. We have this one is uh, likely a calyptrophora, a prim primnoid, judging based on the polyps that I'm seeing. Wow. Yeah, huge primnoid, huge calyptrophora. And then I think to the left, I want to say that is a... Uh, To the left, perhaps. So we can't get the interval setting to work on the. Oh, that camera? is balsam. Okay. Yes. Um. Yeah. Interval doesn't. It doesn't save correctly anymore for some reason. But um. Hmm. Yeah. But it's alright. We've been getting so pretty you have to decent do it shots. Yeah. But we've He's been getting pretty decent shots otherwise, so. You okay, what kind of coral this was? Awesome. This is a Calyptrophora. I'll type it. And then that sponge next to it, the stocked one, is a Balasoma. Got it, got it. And then, um, I guess we can zoom out. We're good. Whee! Like a roller coaster. Man, it's just so much colonization here. <laughs> oh. Oh, Tetraplora is the genus name. I get it now. <laughs> okay. I was wondering where that came from. But, okay. Yeah, so, um, yeah. Cool. I need to freshen up on my sponge taxonomy. I wasn't prepared for this. But it's really cool. Shrimp. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and I keep thinking to myself and wondering, why are we seeing so many sponges and such a huge diversity of sponges? I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> sponge experts weigh in if you're there but um we're seeing so many sponges rather than you know the corals that we would expect to see i guess um we're seeing some corals we're seeing some primnoids some um, bamboo corals some chrysogorgids but this is just wild like we haven't seen this great of a density of um of sponges since, I think. Wow. Oh, um, can we maybe look at this? If we're able? 
Go ahead and zoom. All right, so this is a black coral. Uh, let me just check. Um, what do you say? What's going on with the bridge there? Uh, so basically, she the ship doesn't like when we stop go, so we're just gonna have to continuously move oh. forward. Well, that's not really good. Yeah. All right. Um. Well. Um, we can track a line for the time being, but when we get up to the wall, we can't just keep going. Yeah. All right. We can zoom the, out. The captain Oops. told me that he would. Be be able to use the jet pump for the moves, but just use the mains to hold station. Yeah. But we'd have to go, if you want me to go talk to him, I will. Well, no, it's just all I'm hearing there is he's saying he doesn't want to start and stop and start and stop, but when we get up to a hill, that's exactly what they need to do, right? This is okay for the moment. I mean, even with the uh, even with the main engines, the ship's track line is still kind of all over the place. We're not really heading in a straight line. Yeah. Oh, I'm way behind. Sorry, I gotta catch up a little bit. All good. Do whatever you gotta. Well, do. yeah. As we get closer to the wall, just have them, you know, hold station plenty of distance off the off the it's not really a wall it's, it's not a, a wall it's I a know. slope okay. yeah yeah um have them just keep a safe distance off and see if he can hold station before it we'll see how steep it is what's the total rise from the bottom to the top how many meters is it the top is 1,600, what we're at, so it's only 130 meters. Those are 10, uh, 10 meter contour intervals, I think. Yeah. Well, as we're moving along, Daniel, is there any questions or anything? Yeah, so. There is a really great question in the chat that I've been researching this, uh, uh, recently. And it's one that I'd like to ask everybody here as well. So, somebody asks, what if I want to go into marine biology, but traditional schooling doesn't work for me? Hmm. And, yeah, so there are many pathways into marine biology and just this field in general. Um, so, for example, with Nautilus, you can join our team. Uh, we have internships, uh, fellowships, and uh, job openings for uh, those who are in a non-traditional path, such as the one I am on. I'm a science communication fellow. Yeah. This is open to formal well, and informal educators, as well as uh, artists, to come out and see with us to uh, communicate uh, ocean science to the entire world. And you can come along with uh, a variety of uh, backgrounds and experience. A, a big passion for ocean science is a big one. And our internships are open to those who are mostly in college, but who are pursuing uh, careers in STEM, whether that's science, engineering, uh, technology, and math. And we also have openings on our job postings for those to work on as scientists or crew. Yeah, so um, I'll also add that um, 
to be a marine biologist or to work in the marine science field, you, I mean, you can really start from anywhere. We have people on this ship that are from everywhere. Um, you can start with like fisheries. You can just start, um, you know, with deck stuff, port stuff. It's all about really meeting people, I think. Um, so like school is a great way of meeting people, right? Making connections, finding people who do research and things that you're interested in. But you can just as easily make those connections in you know, your stereotypical jobs, kind of the more blue collar, like laborious jobs, I guess. Um, a lot of our deck crew, although um, I wanna say most of them went to college, a lot of them worked in not necessarily places where you needed to have a degree, I would say, or, you know, places that you can work up with, like, without a degree. So it's all about, like, finding those little cracks in um, the workforce and, like, filling those and kind of working your way through to where you want to get to. Mm -hmm. I'll also add to that, uh, you know, rather than strictly looking at four-year degrees there's also trade schools yeah you know, like specifically like marine technology is a fantastic to say yeah well, and videography as well yeah that, yeah exactly that's kind of where i started as well so yep and conservation is another avenue as well so there are many companies and nonprofits out there who are looking to uh do lots of conservation work and train those on the job with or without a degree so there are many, Cucumber. such as um, like coral restoration Ooh. organizations. And, Who is uh, this? What's this? Can we get a zoom? Oh, it's, it's a, a sea, sea cucumber. cucumber. Yeah. But they're really fun to look at. If we Go can ahead, zoom. Uh, partial zoom. Wow. I just really like how like all the ones that we see are like different colors. Yeah. They're really fun. They're so pretty. Usually translucent. You can see their gut, their sediment tract. Now you can wow. go in tighter if you like. Yeah, but they're really, cute. I think they're really cute and pretty. But I know they kind of just look like blobs. <laughs> so <laughs> to each their yep. own. I mean, this guy's got some little, little furs on him. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Ooh, oh there's another worm. Oh, you've seen those before. That's polyke. awesome. Polyke. 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 Yeah. Wow. Um, I think that's in the genus Swimma. <laughs> the only reason why I remember is Swimma? because it's, yeah, yep, it's really like called Swim Swimma. A. <laughs> yeah, Swimma. Oh, look at that. Yeah. I like how the sea cucumber just spinning around for us. Yeah, it's so good little it's doing it. its dance. Yeah. Flipped him upside down. Giving yep. us a show. He's like, you want to see? <laughs> <laughs> So you said it has a sediment tract. Does that mean it eats sand? Yeah, so they um, they go along the seafloor um, kind of looking for whatever detritus is left, and then they filter out that sediment, and yeah, that's how they eat. Oh, and then in the still cam, I'm seeing something fun. Oh, well, it's in the still cam now. Yeah, but actually I don't think it's going to be, it's going to be hard to focus on. Oh, it's right here. Some sort of transition. Swimmy thing. Yeah, actually, I don't know if we'll be able to see it. Okay, just kidding. It's gone. <laughs> Coming up around. We're moving. Um, let me get it, that an ID for that sea cucumber. Mm -hmm. So, one of our interns aboard, her name is uh, Paula. She is from Puerto Rico and. That. One of her uh, previous jobs before coming on board Nautilus, she worked in coral restoration on her uh, home island. Yeah. And that was something she did without a degree, and uh, she was able to get experience in free diving as well as scuba diving. So there is uh, many pathways into getting into marine science and with and without a degree. And there are many organizations that are looking for work and for people to come on board to help with a lot of conservation efforts, as well as education. Yeah. You can even yeah. become a, a help with uh, policy makers to help with uh, marine preservation and conservation, such as the proposed Marine National Sanctuary for the Pacific Remote Islands. And if you are interested out there, there is currently a open public comment until 
uh, today, June 2nd. So if you are interested in having your voice heard about this proposed sanctuary, you know, go to our website. We have a blog that links to where you can make uh, your opinions be known. Yep. Yeah, and Another sponge. I will say one thing about uh, looking for a career pass. Uh, your best friend is going to be Google. So <laughs> honestly, just looking up uh, those very questions you have is a great start. Sometimes uh, looking at the World Wide Web is Can you tell how fast uh, the ship resource. is moving? It says around 0.3 average. And I'll also mention that people love to talk about what they do usually. So if you find something that you're really interested in, send them an email. <laughs> like it's scary, yeah. but like if you find even like just a random employee at like a park and you're like, oh my gosh, this park's so cool. And you want to learn more, like just send them an email. They'll probably be really happy to talk with you more about it. And that could be a way to get in, you know? I feel Cheyenne, like maybe after that move, I have feel like to see if he can hold station. It's all about research and networking. Yes, it's very much so networking. Mm -hmm. Very much so talking to a lot of different people, getting a lot of different perspectives, trying a lot of different things, even if they suck. Yeah. It's just really putting out yourself where you fit. out there. Yep. Most importantly, being proactive. Yes. Yep. And when you're proactive, people will see your ambition and they'll recognize that and really want to foster your potential. So, always be proactive. So another question we have is, for those on watch who have done non-Nautilus related field work, what is your favorite field work you've done? Um, I can go. I have worked at many animal clinics, um, so I would definitely say that has been a great experience. Um, I've helped with um, assist with a dog, a bulldog, ha um, having a C-section, you know, delivering oh, wow. her puppies. Oh my gosh. So yes, I've dealt with that. I've helped. Um, get a tumor out of a dog's brain and stuff. Wow. So that are like my two like highlights of my animal clinic. And then um, I would say being at Tuskegee, we have our goat farm. So being able to run around and chase goats <laughs> have been fun. <laughs> Quite different from what we do here, huh? <laughs> it's very according different. According to the map, it should be flattening out here, but it still seems like there's a very slow Very different. <laughs> um, It'll flatten but out. But yeah, that's yeah. been my highlights. But it's steeper right here than it says. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny. Kind of weird. Um, I did work in the Chesapeake Bay for a REU, a research experience for undergraduates um, experience that's funded by NSF. Um, that was fun. I got to work on a lot of small boats. Got to get very muddy, lots of anoxic mud. It did not smell good. Um, hauled like 300 pound reefs out of the bay, but it was a really great experience. Yeah. I also did a, an REU and mine was originally set to go to Greenland, but wow. this was a, during the height of COVID. So last minute that trip got canceled and so instead our backup plan was to go out to Colorado and Montana to do field work. So I was hiking up a mountain like every day for two weeks. And this mountain's like 10,000 feet above sea level. Um, and that was quite a surreal experience. And uh, we also got to stop at Yellowstone along the way. Got to take a lot of our samples to Montana State University and do a lot of lab research. We were just getting to explore the, uh, the, the western part of the country. I'd never really been. So it's one of those opportunities that comes around and it seems rare, but it's definitely uh, about opening up your experiences to anything. I just wanted to really travel and 
as soon as I saw Greenland, I'm like, okay, sign me up. It seems like mm -hmm. a free trip, but also one that's helping build my career. So if you're also looking for um, research opportunities and if you're an undergrad, um, research experience for undergraduates is sponsored by the National Science Foundation. And they usually have applications open year round, but they usually start in the fall, I believe. Yeah, so, fall, winter. Mm -hmm. And so they do have ones that are in uh, marine biology or, or ecology or within the field of marine science. So definitely check out that website as well. Yeah, the University of Rhode Island usually takes uh, 10 or 12 REU students each summer called the SURFO program, Summer Undergraduate Research Fellowship in Oceanography. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Let's get on the flat and, and hold up when we get on it anyway. It looks like I can see it coming in the sonar here. Are those donuts on your screen? Donuts? Maybe even, we're gonna swing yeah. in a bit too, so. Uh, yeah, today is June 2nd. Today is National Donut Day. Man, <laughs> we got a day for everything. <laughs> it's a happy National Donut Day, um, donut are we day able guys. To zoom on this quick yeah. or are we moving? Oh, what's that? Looks like an urchin. Yeah. Which we Question. haven't seen much of. Kind of cool, given it's on the slope. I think we saw one earlier, but I should have pointed out. Probably. It like a small one. Probably. It was like purplish, pinkish, I think. Mm, they all tend to be. Yeah, I can't believe that one we found. Um, uh, I picked up as a sample the other day. Go ahead and zoom. That yeah. was big. Mm -hmm, that, oh my gosh. That was a big urchin. Every time uh, oh, yeah. I see an urchin. So that's an anemone, actually. Um, oh, it's an anemone. So that's a certain type. I very distinctly remember it. Uh, hmm. uh, Looks like it has bits that are like white or glowing almost, like it's glitter. Yeah, it has little little bulbs on the end. Um, I believe it's a liponema. A liponema, yep. Okay, uh, full wide. So we're coming up. There's not much of a flat there. It's coming up. There's at least a little lip or something ahead of Atlanta. So I'm going to zip out there, get back out in front, yep. and see what uh, what's going to happen. Yeah, here. you won't be going downhill anymore. Anyway. No, no. You can see there. We must be in the pocket there now. Yeah. Oh, just kidding. Sorry, everyone. That's actually a Coralomorpharian. They look so similar. Okay. Yeah. So the difference is that these have, yeah, those white tips around their mouths. It's still an anemone, but... Um, yeah, this is what I was waiting for. There it is. Sediment field. Yeah. There's not much to it, though. It's smaller no. than it's indicated. If the ship's uh, holding, I wouldn't mind trying to get a push core here. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Let's see if we get back out in front and... Or it might be, have to be right here. Eh? Oh yeah, this is pretty perfect. But you can see the rock through it though, Dwight. Yeah. I'll try, oh, but yeah. I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah, maybe not. Give it the old college it's try. A fish. Oh yeah. Just keep Some swimming, sort of swimming, eel swimming. thing. Uh, come down a few meters. This is a tight little depression. Yeah, wow, it's pretty cool. Yeah. So, oh, okay. So the white little. Man. Grasswind for straws over here. So Sarah with an H, what's your favorite type of donut?
favorite type of donut. Um, this one's a little difficult because it all depends on my mood generally, but I know one of my go-to favorites is the Boston cream. Mm. Um, that custard filling with the chocolate on top gets me every time. But a lot of times I like just a plain cake donut with chocolate frosting too, with coffee. Yeah. Mm. It's a good variety. Good choice. Mm -hmm. Although sometimes the Boston creams can be like too sweet for me. So mm. that's when it's like, oh, okay, the, the cake. Yeah, chocolate sometimes covered cake donut. The filling can be a little too much at times, yeah. but if you're in the mood, it's perfect. I'll, I'll tell you guys this year, though, um, that I have never had a jelly-filled donut because <gasps> for some reason they Sarah. scare me. <laughs> Sarah, you're not living. It's okay. Oh I haven't gosh. had one either. What's there's your? Something, there's something about it. And I'm just like I can't. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's a, do it. Do they look very unnatural to me? So. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry you feel that way, and I hope you I overcome know. this someday. I'm sure. I I know I'm. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's a phase. You could I'll start small with like a scone. Like a jelly-filled scone <laughs> <laughs> and work your way up. <laughs> it's okay. I haven't had a jelly-filled donut either, so I support. <laughs> Luby, you haven't had a lot of things, though. Oh, so. Okay, that is Gosh. true. That is true, but I'm working. It's a you progress. You are, you are, and I'm very proud. You know, I mean, progress. like, cow brains before and, like, really random yep. stuff, but, yeah, the jelly-filled <laughs> Jelly donut, donut is too much. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's me with, um... Shoot, what is it? Yeah, I've eaten, like, cow brains before, too, yeah. but um, oh, my dad. certain things, yeah, I get it. Mm -hmm. I had a, I had porcupine tacos once. That was interesting. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. Did you Where? pick up the needles? Um, I mean, back at home. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Northern Michigan, we they eat anything up there. Fatty, <laughs> like a fatty. I don't know, type wow. of thing, but in tacos, it was all right. There's actually not a lot of fat on porcupines, just so you know. <laughs> hmm. They're all quill. <gasps> all quills. I ate um, goats for the fish. first time before I left campus. Anyone else goat? had yeah, it's got goat. banding on it. No? On a zoom? No. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, so that, oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, wow. big one. Oh. Oh, here closer. Here oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 11,000. Um, 11,366. So that looks like a furred skeleton. Um, go ahead and zoom. And if we can get a good look at that swanji on the bottom. Um. Mm. Maybe we should interview the sponge mm. and ask what its favorite donut is. <laughs> um, guys, I'm really struggling with these sponges. <laughs> <laughs> they all look glass-like to me. I think a sponge expert would struggle with the sponges too. Um, um Connor, kind of helping you in the chat. Yeah, Connor's doing an amazing job at saving me. Oh, this is another polyopagon. Okay, so the concavity on the one side, I guess, is the giveaway. Um, and then we can zoom out. Maybe let's look at the other. I think the other one behind it is another polyopagon then. Yeah. And zoom. Connor, do you have a favorite donut? <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. Or it's, uh, yeah. Yep, that's another one. Cool, thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, mm -hmm. so polyopagon looks like it has a bunch of different morphs, but they all have some sort of concavity to one side and they're all kind of, um, they're not stalked. Yep, okay, cool. The more you know. But yeah, it's really astounding how few corals we're seeing. Like not even, even in the still cam, there's really not much. I know 12 hours ago when we looked in the still cam, there was like low 
laying corals. There were a bunch of black corals that were really small and really translucent and really difficult to see against sediment. But even here, it's like there's just, it's just sponges. Can you refix that the DVL fix right out there somewhere? So after this dive, our next dive is scheduled for um, how many hours is that? 16 hours later? About 20, how do you say that? 20 hundred? No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 8 p.m. <laughs> okay. You Come wide on that again? <laughs> And where will we be exploring for that next dive? Yeah, we have quite a bit of mapping to do first because okay. it's, uh, Still it's a seamount that's where not that far away from here. It's only like, I don't know, 20 or 30 miles away. Okay. But it's not, uh, it's unmapped, so we have, we have Got to spend it. some time mapping it. Any, any more questions? Anything fun, Daniel? Yeah, so... Uh, one of those questions was for me, but I think you can kind of see <laughs> how I feel right now. Um, <laughs> why aren't bagels considered donuts? Bagels are not donuts, me. dude. There's no way. Wait, what was the I question? I guess I guess until like the kind of debate of if cereal is so Ooh, trippy. donut shaped. Shrimp. Oh, oh what's yeah. that? <laughs> is that a little squid what is or that? is that shrimp? That's shrimp. 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 I thought it was a, a shrimp, but it's not, is it? Oh, it is. No, no that's a shrimp. shrimp. That's yeah. a shrimp. Wow. It's just pretty. <laughs> I would just swim in with his Bye. legs. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really pretty. No, there's no way donuts are, I mean, bagels are donuts. I don't believe that. I thought bagels are kind of like a toast. Bagels are more analogous to bread. bagels are cooked in water and donuts are deep fried. Yeah. So, if you could physically explore the deep sea floor in a diving vessel, would you? So, like a submarine or something like that? Oh, that's not even a question. Absolutely, I oh, would go yes. in an HOV, human-operated vehicle. Well, this is interesting. Another sand area. Yeah. Is this a border? Oh, yeah. Is this like a border or is this like a drop-off? A little bit of a drop-off. Another sediment channel. Oh, I see. Yeah, I would kill to go in an HOV like Alvin or something. That's a dream. Um, yeah, to see all of this up close, that's just, that's unreal. Is Alvin with, uh, which institute are they with? Are they with Woods Hole or are they with uh, URI or somebody no, else? Woods, Woods, Woods Hole. Hole. Woods Hole. They operate, Alvin. It's owned by the Navy. Hmm. Did not know that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Dwight, do you have experience with Alvin? No, I, I've done a couple Alvin cruises, but never got a dive in, hmm. unfortunately. Adam um, just keeps talking about how he, you know, got to go in Alvin like 10, 15 times. We're yeah. like, okay, Adam. <laughs> I've done another <laughs> submersible dive a couple times, maybe mm. five times. Nice, nice. Yeah. I knew yeah. about Alvin growing up from like textbooks and National Geographic stuff, so. I never knew until literally like college. I didn't know anything about marine science. Other submersibles have like a big acrylic sphere in front that you can sit in, and it's pretty amazing. Whereas oh, wow. Alvin, you just get to you look lay out down. a little porthole. Yeah. 
But I'm assuming those don't have as great of a depth range. No. Yeah. No. I think the one I went in was a thousand meters. Mm. It's still pretty good, but you know. Yeah. You could talk to Robert Waters. He's an Alvin pilot. He's yeah. He's probably done hundreds of Alvin dives. Man. And, uh, the new Alvin can go deeper. Right. And he went right. down to 6,500. Man, that's And it starts yeah, making wild. some sounds as you go <laughs> deeper, like little uh, creaks. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Ooh, let's look at that. I'm not seal. sure I'd like that. <laughs> well, hey, if they retrofitted it, I mean. It, I don't think it was a retrofit. It was a brand new build. Oh. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure it was. Yeah, they had to make the new spheres. Oh my gosh. Alvin, the subs built around one big pressure sphere. Are these rocks saying anything to you? What do they I, mean? I do want to collect a rock, but these are, I haven't seen very angular ones. So to say, I don't know what these rocks mean. We're sort of in a talus slope a little bit, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I like rocks that look like they're part of an outcrop more. Mm -hmm. Where this just looks like yeah. kind of crust and kinda crud. And dropped off from somewhere. Out, yeah. And our density is lessened. Yeah, since we're not seeing as much now, it might be good to just keep the ship moving. Sounds good. Beautiful. Well, sediment world to the right. <laughs> That's a whole lot of nothing. Or so it seems. Probably microscopically, it's not nothing. Oh yeah, for sure. Definitely a bunch of in fauna that we can't see. I will forever be curious about those little, um, those little concavities in, of sediment that we saw on the other dive that had little excrement um, piles <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, let's look at this thing. Probably another sponge, a dead sponge it looks like. Oh, is that another one? Or another one referring to, oh, it's an urchin. Yeah, let's look at the urchin actually here. Okay. So that's just a dead sponge. Oh, it's little. <clears throat> Urchin? Yeah. Um, from the uh, still cam. Oh, it's an anemone. Go ahead and zoom. Just kidding. <laughs> You're kidding. So hard on. to see. <laughs> I know. Sorry, guys. Definitely look like an urchin. I know. Or actually, nope. It's an urchin. The top of it. The top of it looks like a donut. <laughs> oh my God! Please. <laughs> yep. Cool. Okay. Um, full wide. Have you ever seen the movie Surfs Up? Yes. 